YouTube. I'm back. I just got off work, as you can plainly tell. Yes, I'm working today. Hey, it's been Steve. So, today I'm going to be doing a couple reviews. Yes, late night reviews. It is currently uh, 12.30 in the morning, my time. Uh, so, today I'm going to look at a couple... Ooh, pardon me. Uh, figures today, and I need to make sure I have everything so I can get this done. Oh, there it is. My little trusty tool. So, today I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Cybertron Cannonball. Or is it Cannonbolt? I can't remember. But, you would probably already know what I'm talking about. They just did a repaint of him using a cyber, no, a Transformers Prime ratchet for the Pirates Knights uh, um, BotCon special. Well, I have what he originally was when he first came out in the Transformers Cybertron line. And here he is today. Beautiful. Um, he is the repaint of Transformers Cybertron Red Alert. All they did was just recolor him, basically. So he's a nice, sleek, gunmetal grayish color with some beautiful purple, some silver, nice gold for a little bit of the grill, yellow headlights. I love the silver right here between the uh, hood. Uh, the sirens are now purple. Uh, the rims are colored, and they do spin very freely. Um, not really much in the back. Now, he does have this beautiful pirate skull here, as well as one. I don't know if you can see it very well enough. There you go. One on each side of his car. And they kind of remind me of a special holiday celebrated in Mexico called Dia de los, de los Muertes, the Day of the Dead. So that's what, how I see him. He's like a, a car. He scanned the car that was for that holiday and he ended up scanning the uh, skulls, decals. Uh, he has a nice vibrant purple that are the windows all the way around. You can't tell it's purple because of how dark it is, but it's, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. So we're going to go. Um, get into his Cybertron gimmick. Like I said, he is a Transformers Cybertron toy. Uh, he does have a key, which I did not, wasn't able to grab nor find at the time. So, I'm gonna use my knife. I'm just gonna slide it into that little hole right there. And if I get it right. First, that one doesn't want to plug. There you go. He has these little side guns that pop out off on the side. Really, really cool. Very nice gold plastic. He does not suffer from the uh, gold plastic syndrome that previous toys that have had it. So, his the gold plastic has held up very well on him. So, we're gonna go get ahead and get in. Ooh, pardon me, into his transformation. So first we're going to come underneath the here, and we're going to pull these little bits out. Just pull them out, and fold them like so. We're going to take the back wheels, and do kind of like a um, Back to the Future DeLorean wheel fold-in thing. Except we're going to fold them all the way in. We're going to come up to the front, do the same thing with another two. Going to fold those out. And simply these wheels stay stationary. Next, we're going to take the hood of the car, disconnect it like so, come to the back, grab right there, and we're going to swing both pieces down until they sandwich together. And you, I don't know if you can see that purple window now. Beautiful. And go ahead and split those apart. And those are his legs now. 
gonna come here to the side door panels or uh yes the side door panels Ooh, if i can get one out oh no oh yes take this disconnect it pull it forward then we come and grab the side door panels which conceal the arms fold the skirt flaps down gonna take this piece and we're basically just gonna bend here and then sandwich it on his back next we're gonna take the fist and straighten out the arms take the gun straighten out the arm and pull up his little head there yes mine has a little looseness in the ball joint these doors you're gonna go ahead and fold them back there on this little hinge so like so there you go cannonball is now complete uh he is my favorite cybertron figure um he still retains the skeletons this one now becomes his back and now we have more gold uh on his body as well as his head has this nice little um i want to say that's like a gunmetal gray area where his like i see his story as that face part of his face got scarred and he has a special plating on all right we have some uh more gold some silver the uh engine intakes vents here are now yellow some more silver on the chest and that Decepticon symbol. And he, yes, this is Red Alert's head. Um, now he did have a little gimmick with his legs. Is yes, he has thunder thighs or thunder calves, whatever you want to call. But what you do is you pull these little hood sections forward and you wiggle out my if I can get them out. Alright, go ahead and close them up. You get two little tools. One is which is this little hammerhead, which you can plug on the end of his uh, hand blaster. Or from what I've been able to read, it's his hand, his uh, welding hand. So now he has a little hammer. We can hammer time. Can't touch this. Can't touch it. Yeah, sorry, I just went there. I'm old. And the other weapon, we a uh, little utensil we have is this gold plastic claw, which does open and close. Give you a close up of that, the detail on that. Like they even did it on there. Like even in the claw itself. Very cool. And you can attach it to his utensil. So he can have it like so, or you can have it like so. And those two just store into these little containers in his leg. I can get that one back in there. There's one. And there's two. And his cyber key gimmick is still functional. So we'll go ahead and do that. Come on. You can do it. So the cannons now flip over. Sorry. So they have popped out. And the cannons will flip over. So he kind of almost reminds me of a certain just uh, trigger con. I cannot remember his name. But yeah, there you go. Transformers Cybertron Cannonball.